welcome to this channel in this tutorial we will design a sample and hold circuit using the multisim tool before going into this tutorial i request you to like share and subscribe to my channel below let us start working on this particular tutorial now click on the components and in the select a component section select the group as all groups and in the component tab type LF353 which is a bifet op-amp and we, we will use LF3F3D op-amp and place this particular op-amp in the schematic window we require two op-amp for this sample and whole circuit design so place two bifet op-amp on the schematic window next we have to select the component as 1N4148 which is the diode now place this particular diode on the schematic window in order to rotate use control R so place two diodes in this particular schematic window next we have to place 2N4391 this particular device has to be placed on the schematic window in order to rotate use control plus R and once you place this particular FET you can flip horizontally next place the resistor and the capacitors which are required for this design so select the group as basic and select the capacitor for this particular design we will select capacitor and we have to place a capacitor which is of 0.1 microfarad which is of a 0.1 microfarad now we have to place a resistor in this particular design so select resistor and place two resistor which is of one mega ohm so place this particular resistor as shown in this particular tutorial next we have to place the source that is the voltage source for this particular design so select the signal voltage source and select the AC voltage place this particular AC voltage on the schematic window now also we have to place a clock voltage or a pulse voltage in this particular tutorial so place this particular pulse voltage in the schematic now connect the voltage V1 to resistor R1 and from resistor R1 to terminal number 3 of the op-amp now connect the output of op-amp to 2N4391 FET and the diode is connected to the op-amp and the 2N4391 FET now connect the terminal 2 of op-amp LF353 to 
the resistor R2 and the diodes are connected in between the resistor R2 and the op-amp. Connect the other end of FET to the op-amp LF353D and connect the output of the op-amp number 2 to the resistor R2. Now connect the terminal number 6 of op-amp to the output and connect the capacitor C1 between the FET and the op-amp. Now we have to place the ground connection in this particular schematic. Place the ground connection to the voltage source and to the capacitor. Now connect the voltage number 1 to the ground and the capacitor C1 to the ground. Connect the voltage source V2 to the gate of FET 2N4391 and the voltage source to the ground. Now we have to place the standard voltage source that is VDD and VSS for the op-amp which is the supply voltage for this particular op-amp. So place the VDD and VSS. Now we have to change the value of VDD and VSS according to our design. Now double click on the voltage source. Connect the voltage source to the op-amp terminal 8 and terminal 4. Double click on the voltage source. Define the value as 15 volt and double click on VSS and define the value as minus 15 volt. Now we have to define the voltage source V1 and V2. So double click on V1 and define the frequency as 500 Hertz. Now double click on V2 and define the initial value as 0, pulsed value as 1. Now define the rise time as 10 micro, fall time as 10 micro, pulse width value as 1 millisecond and period as 2 millisecond and click OK. Now click on simulate and we have to place the oscilloscope. Now connect the channel A to the output of the op-amp, second op-amp and click on ground connection and place the ground connection near the oscilloscope. Connect the ground connections accordingly. Connect the channel B to the input and also we have to place the ground connection across the channel B of the oscilloscope. Now let us run this particular simulation. Double click on the oscilloscope. You can see the transient analysis. You can see the sample and hold wave waveform and also the input waveform. Now in order to perform the transient analysis, click on simulate, click on analyze and simulation we have to define the input and output. So in order to check the nodes, right click on the node and select properties. The net name is 1 and right click on properties. The net name is 6. So now go to simulate, click on 
analyze and simulation define the output as v1 and define the other variable as v6 now run this particular simulation you can see the transient analysis now what we can do is that now click on simulate and click on analyze and simulation we will reduce the end time uh, we will make it as 0.01 second and again run this particular simulation now you can see the transient analysis of the sample and hold circuit thank you for watching this tutorial i hope this has helped your learning purpose I request you to like share and subscribe my channel below